morning is game day. Um, your uh, Chiefs versus the Blues, and you're probably not going to get this until tomorrow because I mean, I've got to go and do the job. Um, I have had about about four, four, four and a half hours sleep, maybe. Um, not because I was up all night working on the Chiefs files, but because at the moment I'm juggling doing the Chiefs um, game as well as finishing this blog and content marketing course. And doing these blogs as well, um, which takes up some time and slows everything down a little bit. So it's 9.52 now. Um, I've just had a shower, I've got to have breakfast, I've got my coffee here. Um, but I've also got to finish a few files. Um, I was too tired to really finish them last night because, because I was literally nodding off as I was doing the player profiles, putting them in place on the timeline for myself to use later on. So I figured it was better to get some more sleep and try and do it in the morning. Um, and it's a late game, it's like a 7.35 kickoff, um, but I've got to be there a lot earlier than that. Um, so ideally I want to leave by about 12 o'clock, which is only two hours away, so it's, it's, it's a bit of pressure, a bit of stress today. Um, just putting on my socks. So I'm um, dressed, I've got my, my Chiefs shirt on, and I've, I've got my accreditation in the car. Everything's just about packed up. Once I've finished doing those last files, then I can pack the laptops into the into the case as well um, and then I've got a two and a half hour drive ahead of me to get to Hamilton that's the, one of the killers of the game um, but yeah I mean I've done this a few times so I'm quite confident that, that, that I'll be able to get through it um, even you know, a little bit sleep deprived um, but still <laughs> it's, not, it's not ideal um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave it at that and get on with um, getting on with the files. So I just thought I'd take some time while I was having my coffee to say hey, um, do the intro for my video, and um, I'm sure I'll shoot a little bit more. If I don't, then it's because I have just been too busy and I've just gone straight up and been at work mode until the end of the day. So um, hopefully I'll talk to you later. Otherwise, um, it'll be tomorrow. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. So um, I've got. All the files together. Um, the last thing I was doing was putting together the anticipation um, pictures of the Chiefs fans. Um, it's I put it together into our After Effects animation, and the animation is telling me it's going to take, or After Effects is telling me it's going to take another hour and 15 minutes to render. I really hope it doesn't take an hour and 15 minutes to render because I was supposed to leave at 12 o'clock, and that's going to mean quarter to one. But I mean. Better to do it now than to, to you know struggle through an hour and 15 minute render um, in the actual stadium because I've got to render it and I've got to convert it and then I've got to um, swap it over to the, the correct laptop to, to play out on and those kind of things. So, um, so my coffee, coffee's ready. It's coffee break time. That's why I thought I had a chance to say this. So yeah. Um, uh, everything is sort of pretty much there. Um, I need to get the power supply out because the other laptop I was using is run out of juice um, and I already packed its laptop. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get that, plug that in, and, and at least I can sync some files and get ready to just plonk the, the, the anticipation pictures in there. And um, then I should be ready for the game. But I've still got to get down there, two and a half drive, looks like it's starting to rain, not a really nice day. And um, I've got a patch up my laptops, make sure all my gear is working. Then I've got to go through the run sheet and uh, count and, and note the countdown seconds so I know that, you know when people ask me how long before this ad finishes I can I can start to count it out for them. Um, so they can swap to camera feeds or um, just to splash pages and that sort of thing. Um, so I've still got heaps of work to do and that's all before the actual game starts. So yeah, <laughs> game day is a crazy day. Alright. So, um, I'm just starting to pack the case. Um, pack the case, the case for the game. Um, I have to get the power supply out to charge one of the laptops. So, this is my kit that I take with me. Oh, might as well put 
this power supply and this laptop in. Bag along with my Sennheiser earplugs and this, I've taken this this time because they used uh, my, my fancy 3D camera as a, as a cam for the announcer and just in case they need another camera I've got a whole bunch of really cheap those here so they can use those because it doesn't have to be high resolution um, in order to feed to the screen. The screen's actually quite a small resolution. Um, it's just really massive and you know, the pixels are quite wide. So, so that camera, those cameras will do. And for now that's, uh, that's all I can pack until I'm ready to start packing the car after those renders. Um, it's going to be a while for those renders so I guess I've got some time to just try and relax. kayaking um, gear in there so I have to take that out in here while I'm waiting for the for those renders to finish. Six minutes on that render so uh, since I've got some time um, I figured I was going to try and make a little homemade um, car rig in the car so because I've been holding the camera out like that while I've been filming the road it's probably not particularly safe um, no it's not legal but <laughs> you know um, for now <laughs> so I'm going to make something that is perfectly legal and um, that'll make my life a little bit easier when it comes to a driving cam Okay, so I'm going to try and do this sort of makeshift camera mount until I get myself a proper dash cam. With this camera mount, this roll of masking tape, and all I have is one screw. So we'll see how, we'll see how I go. Okay, so here's what I did. I got my camera mount, and the screw didn't work. I couldn't get it through the dashboard. Um, I knew it wasn't going to work. So um, I got some Velcro on the camera mount and on the dashboard as well so that way I've got a few more options do that it's not perfect it still wiggles around it so I'm probably gonna have to add some gaff to it as well but um yeah, just might have to do really so 24 minutes left on that render so 23 minutes just clicked over 23 minute minutes so I'm going to finish my coffee, give my windows a bit of a clean. If we're going to have a dash mount car, I might as well be able to see, uh, you know, might as well be able to see out the, the front windscreen um, without bug splats. And um, 
make my coffee for the journey and you know maybe a thermos of coffee uh, for the journey back. <laughs> and then by then that um, 23 minutes should definitely have passed by then and I should be ready to drop things into the final timeline once it's converted. Dropbox to cross and pack the laptops, pack the keyboards, feed the dogs, look at Bella. It's 10 past 12 now, <laughs> so I'm probably not going to get on the road till about 1 o'clock. So they're probably not going to see me there until about 3 3 30, but that's just the way it has to be. But at least I'll be fully prepared when I get there, and it doesn't take me very long to set up. Plus, we have an opening um, game at 5 o'clock, anyhow. And the actual game's not till 7 o'clock, so I think I've got plenty of time to set up. Okay, the uh, windows in the car are clean now. Um, I'm just about to drop the, I think it's the happy birthday um, text into the happy, bir happy birthday part of our, um, our timeline. And um, the anticipation um, photo collage sort of thing that I've been animating is almost finished rendering. It's saying two minutes, so that's pretty good. Um, I have prepared all the dog food for the dogs, so um, they're looking at me anxiously, wondering what's going on. Um, it's just on 12, 12 um, 29 now, so I'm still doing all right for time. So I might as well finish my coffee and take some deep breaths because <laughs> it's a long drive ahead of me and it's raining. Um, which reminds me I'm going to close those blinds. Um, and then I've got a big bone for Bella to chew while I'm away so she's not distressed. Um, yeah, I think that's just about it. Um, I just have to pack the laptops once I've finished doing all this rendering and dropping things in timelines. And again, I, I don't think I'll be out of here for until at least one o'clock. But I mean, if I'm lucky, I will be. But I've still got to stop for gas as well, so that's going to add another 15 minutes. Um, that's okay. Like I say, it's a good thing it's a late game, and um, half my gear is still there. And this time around, I have to pack up um, all of the gear to bring back with me so that I've got it for the flight to Taranaki because our next game is in Taranaki for um, Chiefs vs. The Sharks. That was the animation finishing. Okay, so I can start converting that, dropping into the, into the project line. Okay. Almost ready. I'm just waiting for a file to copy across to the laptop. I think it's not ready. And I'm packing this other laptop, but I'm seeing that there's already emails coming in from the people on the show. Asking for anything to be made up, or this is the problem. Uh, no, okay, it's cool, but um, it's not that it needs to be made up. But there's other files now that I have to download, make sure in the right files and folders. So again, it's a good thing that I'm not already on the road, so that I can put them in the timeline on the other laptop. So I'll do that now. Okay, everything's in the car now. I've got coffee. I've got my bag. My computers are packed, my cell phone, my wallet, um, my accreditation, I'll put that on now so I don't forget. And uh, my car pass. And I think, I think I can relax and just try and have a chill drive because it's a long drive. And um, yeah, so maybe we'll get a chance to go after the game. But yeah, I'm ready. Uh, I will talk to you soon.
filming you. Filming you. Filming you. Five. I'm here, all set up. I feel like I'm late, but I'm not late. <laughs> I'm ready. Hi, this is Ronnie from The Chiefs. You're watching Nocturnal Customs. Go to The Chiefs! Right, it's a bit dark here in the car, but that's it. Um, that's it for another game, and The Chiefs won. So, I'm all packed up, got more stuff ready for Taranaki, and I now have to drive for two and a half hours to get home. <laughs> Yay! Thanks for watching this Nocturnal Customs Limited production. Find us and give us a like on Facebook and be sure to follow us on Twitter for more posts, videos and updates. You can also subscribe to us on YouTube where we will be bringing you more regular content on filmmaking, animation, my original music, the occasional cover song as well as more of our feature project releases as they happen. You can find out more information about us on Nocturnal3D.com or contact me directly by emailing visualnz at gmail.com. If you like, you can also follow or contact us on Twitter, where we regularly post as NocturnalNZ, or you can keep in contact by giving us a like on Facebook at Nocturnal Customs. <laughs>